Now kids, in the last class you learned about equivalent fractions. So now we are going to learn how to compare fraction. Okay. So last year you all learned how to compare fraction with the same denominator. So first let's revise that. After that we will see how to compare fractions with different denominators. That is we will try to write those fractions in ascending and descending order. Okay, we can try fractions to with different denominator in ascending order and descending order. Arrange the following fractions in ascending order. Let's write down the first question. First question is 4 by 11, 1 by 11, 10 by 11, 5 by 11 and 7 by 11. These fractions are already having the same denominator. So to arrange them in ascending order, we have no problem because the denominators are already, already same. So we just look for the numerators and arrange them according to the ascending value of the numerators. So here, which will be the smallest fraction? The smallest fraction will be 1 by 11 and the second fraction will be 4 by 11. The third fraction will be 5 by 11 then 7 by 11 and the last fraction would be 10 by 11. Let's start with the next question. The question is 2 by 3, 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 3, by, three 1 by 2, 1, 1 by 3. Look here, here the fractions are having different denominators and some of them are mixed fractions. So first thing we have to do is, we have to convert all these mixed fractions to improper fraction. Only then we can compare them. So if the first one is okay, it's already improper fraction. The next one will become 5 by 2. The third one is already 1 by 3. Next, 7 by 2. And the last one becomes 4 by 3. Now look, all the all the fractions are with different denominators. The denominator is not same. So we have to find the LCM of the denominator. Namely 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. So we can try to find the LCM of these numbers. The LCM of these numbers will be obtained as 6. Now we have to rewrite all the fractions with making the denominator 6. So 2 by 3. We can rewrite 2 by 3 as a fraction with 6 or an equivalent fraction with denominator 6. Forgetting 6. What do we do? We multiply 3 by 2. By the same number we have to multiply the numerator. Also. So we multiply 2 also by 2. So we get 4 by 6. 4 by 6 is an equivalent fraction to 2 by 3. So instead of 2 by 3, we can write 4 by 6. Similarly, we rewrite 5 by 2 also into an equivalent fraction with denominator 6. So to make to make 5 by 2 a, deno, uh, a fraction with denominator 6, what we do? What we do? So here the denominator is 2. So to make 2 6, we have to multiply by 3. So, by the same number, we multiply 5 also. Now, 5 into 3 gives you 15 and 2 into 3 gives you 6. So, the new equivalent fraction is 15 by 6. So, instead of 5 by 2, we can write 15 by 6. Similarly, 1 by 3 can also be rewritten with a denominator 6 that is the equivalent fraction is 2 by 6 the fraction 7 by 2 can be written as 21 by 6 and at last the last fraction 1 by 3 4 by 3 can be written as 8 by 6 now the fractions are written in such a way that all its den denominators are equal namely they are 6 now we can arrange the given fraction in ascending order 
which is the smallest numerator in this case it is 2 and the next one is 4 the next one is 8 then 15 and 21 so the fraction can be arranged as 2 by 6 4 by 6 8 by 6 and 8 by 6 15 by 6 and 21 by 6 but the but in the question there was no 21 by 6 or 15 by 6 we had written the quest the fractions given in the question into a new equivalent fraction so that we could arrange them in the ascending order after making the fractions denominator equal now we have to write back the fraction in the form given in the question so 2 by 6 becomes 1 by 3 4 by 6 becomes 2 by 3 8 by 6 becomes 4 by 3 15 by 6 becomes 5 by 2 21 by 6 becomes 7 by 2 that was the actual question no? so the answer is 1 by 2 is 1 by 3 is less than 2 by 3 which is less than 4 by 3 which is less than 5 by 2 which is less than 7 by 2 the next question is 3 by 4 comma 3 comma 11 by 2 3 by 7 3 by 5 here also you are provided with fractions with different denominator the first fractions denominator is 4 next one is having no denominator what does it mean its denominator is 1 and next one is 2 7 and the last one is 5 now you have to find the LCM of all these numbers so 4 2 we don't have to take 1 because 1 makes no difference in the case of division so we are ignoring 1 we take all the numbers other than 1 so we take 4 2 7 and 5 and find its LCM we get the LCM of 4 2 5 7 5 that is we are dividing it by 2 so we get the the number in the next line is 2 1 7 and 5 so we multiply 2 into 2 into 7 into 5 and we get the product as 140 that is the LCM is 140 so we have to rewrite each of these fractions as a equivalent fraction with denominator 140 it? because the product was 140 we have to rewrite each of these fractions with denominator 140 so first let us try 3 by 4 okay 4 has to be made 140 by which number you have to multiply if you don't know the number what can you do you divide 140 by 4 now when you are dividing 140 by 4 you get the quotient as 35 that is we understand that 4 has to be multiplied by 35 to get 140 so by the same 35 we have to multiply the numerator also so 3 into 35 will give you 105 5. So, the fraction 3 by 4 becomes 105 by 140. 105 by 140. Similarly, we have to rewrite the other fractions also with denominator 140. Now, we write the next fraction that is 3 as an equivalent fraction with denominator 140. So, the numerator is 3 and the denominator is 1. 1 has to be multiplied by 140 to get the denominator 140. So, we multiply the numerator also by 140. Now, it is 3 into 140. So, the fraction becomes 420 by 140. That instead of 3, we can write 420 by 140. And the next fraction is, fraction is 11 by 2. 11 by 2 has to be rewritten as a new equivalent fraction with denominator 140 for that the numer for that the denominator 2 has to be multiplied by 7 70 hence the numerator also has to be multiplied by 70 so the fraction now becomes 770 by 140 which is the equivalent fraction which is an equivalent fraction of 11 by 2 similarly 3 by 7 has to be rewritten as an equivalent fraction with new denominator 140 for that we multiply the numerator and denominator by 20 
so we get so we get 60 by 140 so the new fraction is 60 by 140 the last fraction to be converted to equivalent fraction is 3 by 5 here by which number you have to multiply 5 to get 140 how can if you don't know how do you find it you can just multiply uh, you can just divide the lcm 140 by this denominator 5 so 140 divided by 5 gives you 28 so multiply 5 by 28 and 3 by 28 3 also by 28 now we get a new fraction 84 by 140 So the last fraction is 84 by 140. Now we have a set of fractions which has been converted to equivalent fraction. Now all the denominators are same, isn't it? So the fractions are, what are the fractions here? 105 by 140, 420 by 140, 770 by 140, 60 by 140 and 84 by 140. These fractions we have to arrange in the ascending order okay so for arranging them in the ascending order we take the fraction with the the smallest numerator so the fraction with the smallest numerator is 60 by 140 the next fraction is 84 by 140 next is 105 by 140 next 420 by 140 and the last 770 by 140 but these numbers were not given like this in the question no you can rewrite them in the form they were given in the question so 60 by 40 140 was actually what what was its value it was 3 by 7 so we can rewrite it as 3 by 7 the next one was actually 5 by so 3 by 5 so we can write it as 3 by 5 105 was actually 3 by 4 420 by 140 was actually 3 by 1 and 720 by 140 was 11 by 2 so we can write it in the form it is given in the it was given in the question so 3 by 7 is less than 3 by 5 is less than 3 by 4 is less than 3 is less than 11 by 2 so we have arranged the number in the ascending order okay the question was given and we have now arranged it in the ascending order so now we have learned how to arrange any fraction in the ascending order Similarly, we can apply the same method for arranging the fractions in the descending order. Only the order is changed, no? What do we do? We write the high, uh, greatest fraction first and in the reverse order. Instead of going in the ascending way, we will go in the descending way. That is from the largest to the smallest. Now, I am sure you can compare any fraction, whatever be its denominator, isn't it? If the denominator is also different, you can compare the fractions. Isn't it? Now you are thorough with that, no? Thank you, kids.